hello guys welcome back to my channel on today's tutorial i will demonstrate how to make a basket with design on your outfit hi my name is ayo and welcome to zero on one clothing tutorials on this channel i upload diys pattern drafting and sewing tutorials if you haven't subscribed yet kindly do so and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video so now let's get right into the tutorial thank you i'll be working with the following items paper scissors fabric scissors masking tape pins tape measure pattern paper basic bodies pattern for the front african print fabric so i have here the basic bodies pattern for the front note that this basket weave design can be created on any part of your garment such as the sleeves the hem of your garment the neckline and so on i'll be creating mine at the upper part of this body's block so i'll go ahead to draw the style line like this i will cut it out so the basket weave design will be created at the upper part of the bodies so i have this pattern paper which I've already folded into two. I will place the upper part of the of the bodies, which I cut out earlier on it like this. I will pin it in place. I will now go ahead to add three quarter inch seam allowance all around the pattern like this. I will now cut it out. So I will be making use of the full front pattern for this, the full front upper pattern for this. So I'm gonna have to cut out these strips of fabric, and they are all 1.5 inches wide and 45 inches long. I have here about six pieces, but I still need to cut out more. I will now go ahead to fold the strips like this. I will fold the strip like this. Then I will sew it in place. So now I have gone ahead to sew all the strips. As you can see, what I intend to do now is to carefully arrange all these strips after cutting them to size on the pattern. I will secure them in place with my masking tape. I will start at about one inch away from the neck point, like this. And I've also marked the half an inch seam allowance at the neckline.
I will now carefully arrange all the strips that will be cut to size on the pattern. They will all be one inch apart. So now I'm done with the first arrangement, as you can see. So I will start from this opposite end and I'm going to weave the strips over and below the first arrangement of strips like this. This will give me a basket with design. I will secure the pieces in place with my masking tape, just like I did for the first arrangement. And the strips will also be one inch apart.
So now I'm through with the second arrangement. I will now go ahead and trim off the overhanging pieces. So I go ahead and do the trimming now. Next, I will go ahead to measure and mark the three quarter of an inch seam allowance that I added all around the pattern. I go ahead and mark out the three quarter inch seam allowance now. So what I'll do now is to go ahead and sew all around the same allowance that I just marked that now. So I go ahead the sewing on my sewing machine. So now the stitching has been done. I will go ahead and reduce the same allowance all around the pattern. This is the lower part of the bodies which I'm going to cut out on my fabric. So now I have gone ahead to cut out the lower part of the bodies on my fabric and I've added the necessary seam allowances. And I've also cut out this facing which will be used to cover up the raw edges where the basket weave design will be fixed to the lower part of the bodies. So I'll go ahead and fix these two pieces together and I will use this facing to hide the raw edges. So now that has been done, the two pieces have been joined together as you can see. And I use this facing to hide the raw edges. I've also gone ahead to use a bias strip that I cut on the same African print fabric to knitten the neckline. I will now go ahead and tear off all the paper. So this is the final look of the basket we've designed. To secure the weave design firmly in place, you can use a needle and thread to sew them in place at each intersection. So use a needle and thread to sew all the intersection points in place using your needle and thread and this should be done on the wrong side. This is optional though. So that's it guys, we are done. If you find this video helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, share this video with your friends who are interested in sewing and do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done so already. See you in my next tutorial. Bye and thank you so much for watching.